Here is 1963 Washington Quarter in Mid State 67 Plus. According to Stax Powers, peripheral toning and iridescent powder blue yields two equally inviting pinkish silver and champagne gold towards the centers. The surfaces are fully frosted in finish and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. Very few survivors from the mintage of 74,316,000 circulation strikes, as are well preserved and visually appealing as is premium quality MS67+. Plus. It fetched the sum of $6,600. Here is 1956 Lincoln Cent in MS68 red condition. Attractively toned pristine specimen with boldly struck device elements and lustrous surfaces. With nearly half a million pieces coined, this issue is hardly rare, even in fully red gem condition. It is only at the MS67 red level that the population sinks considerably. MS68 gems are rare. This one was sold for $29,250 with buyer's fee. This is 1966 Canada of dollar from Special Mint Set, graded in Mint State 68 condition with deep cameo. A truly remarkable example of both the type and the issue. Both sides are fully untoned with bold field to device contrast. Virtually pristine as well and sure to catch the eye of discarding Canada of dollar collectors. Also, the mint improved the quality of 1966 SMS half dollar issue after receiving complaints about its 1965 SMS predecessor. Precious few survivors from a mintage of 2,261,583 pieces exhibit enough contrast to support a deep camera designation from PCGS. This gem was sold for $7,200. This is 1936 Lincoln Cent with double diverse, graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. According to Stax Powers, a lustrous deep mint red example with bold golden red surfaces. The strike is sharp, and as expected of the assigned grades, there are no serious blemishes noted. Doubling plane at date, liberty, and all peripheral legends. One of the boldest of all double die varieties in numismatics. Not so bold as 1955 double die of burst cent, but not far off that mark. It was sold for $4,800. This lot includes set of two 1968 S error nickels. First one is a mint state 64 red and is struck on a Lincoln cent, so called double denomination coin. The second one in mint state 65 red, struck on a cent planchette. This lot fetched the sum of $1,440 on August 20th, 2023. This is 1958 Lincoln Cent in MS67 plus red condition. PCGS reported just 8 specimens in this high-end grade, with none finer. This specimen displays distinctive lilac accents around Lincoln's head and the rich reddish-orange colors throughout the incredibly smooth, sharply struck surfaces. Eye appeal is just tremendous. It was sold for six thousand and three hundred dollars. Here is nineteen sixty one Roosevelt Dam in mint state sixty seven plus with full bands. It displays bold definition and smooth, flawless surfaces. George's rainbow toning on the obverse adds to the already superb eye appeal. PCGS plus grade for premium quality at the top of end of the signed grade. It ended up selling for $3,400. This is 1924 The Lincoln Cent in MS64 Plus Red Condition, CAC proven superb gem. According to NGC, the Denver Mint had not coined cents since the small production of early 1922, and demand for additional pieces returned very slowly to the region it served. Denver coined for the nation's breadbasket states, and American farmers were in distressed conditions throughout the decade. Most 1924 descents were poorly struck from quite worn dyes. Fully red gems are very elusive, and mint state coins in any grade are in constant demand. It was sold for $4,749.75 with buyer's fee. Moving on with his 1955 Roosevelt time with attractive toning, graded in mint state 68 by PCGS. This lustrous gem displays vivid tones of neon blue, olive green, crimson red, copper red on a verse. Although sharply struck, the torch on the reverse is not that sharp enough to gain full band's designation from grading service. Nevertheless, at high-end grade, this specimen was sold for $9,300. This is 1936 Lincoln Cent with brilliant finish, an elusive proof issue in PR65 red condition. Vivid surfaces are reddish-orange on the obverse, 
slightly warmer rose red on reverse, universally mirrored and finished with a silky smooth appearance. This is a gorgeous gem example of the key issue in the modern proof Lincoln Sand series. It was sold for $2,760. Here is 1972 Eisenhower dollar in mint state 65 CEC proven elusive gem with type 2 reverse. Lovely golden gray surfaces are luster, satiny, and exceptionally smooth in circulation strike Eisenhower dollar, irrespective of issue or variety. The 1972 type 2 ranks as one of the most important condition rarities produced during the latter half of 20th century. Collectors actively seek examples in grades ranging from AU55 to Gem Mint State. This example was sold for $2,056.25. 1909 S Penny was repunched mint mark, a highlight of Lincoln Cent offering in this sale. This phenomenal superb gem is one of the finest examples of variety certified by either major grading service, setting in texture with a razor sharp strike from the dyes both sides also exhibit beautiful color in a pale rose orange shade silky smooth surface are fully deserving of the impressive ms67 red grade from pcgs it was sold for sixteen thousand and eight hundred dollars and this is vivid little 1948 washington quarter in ms68 plus condition this captivating superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated the obverse is exceptionally vivid with a full endowment of intense steel lilac, salmon pink and gold olive iridescence. The reverse is largely silver tinged yet enhanced by a nearly complete halo of crimson orange iridescence around the periphery. Serene surfaces are fully frosted and finished and temptingly close to numismatic perfection. While the 1948 is a higher mintage issue, it is scarcer in gem condition than the lower mintage S mints of the era. Since the S mints were saved in larger quantities, these rare specimens ended up selling for $43,200. And this is the most valuable coin of this episode, amazing double denomination scent and dime mill. 1995 Roosevelt dime struck with scent of worst dye, graded in mint state 64 by NGC. According to Heritage, this satin in your gem displays the characteristics expected of a dime struck with a scent of worse dye. The verse has only partial rim in God will trust and L in liberty are tight against the border. This is because the dime planchet was less in a diameter than the scent dye in the dime side. The border displays minor softness of strike, principally on ES of AM. This was partly due to the dye alignment, but also because of metal flow on the planchet towards the color to fill the unexpectedly wide scent of worst dye. The strike on the scent is sharp except for minor incompleteness on the truncation of Lincoln's bus near the VDB's initial. This true rarity was sold for $57,500. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on fascinating world of collecting. Have a good one.